So let's start with assessment objective one. For AO1, you're expected to do research and develop ideas. Now, what does that really mean? It means that you have to show how you're using references for inspiration in your work. You need to investigate various sources and look at artists' work. You have to show that you're learning from others and from the world around you, that you're researching and using sources to develop your own ideas. Now, don't worry if this does not make much sense because I will show you examples for each assessment objective so you understand exactly what I mean and how you're supposed to do it. So let's have a look. An example on how you can get started to develop ideas is by collecting various images of interest that you can search on the internet and create inspiration pages or mood boards on the theme. Mood boards are a visual guide and are a great source of inspiration, especially when you don't know where to start. A mind map or a spider diagram is also an extremely useful exercise to record down your interests on how you wish to approach your theme and begin developing some ideas. Mind maps are more of a written outline guide where you write down some key concepts and keywords related to the theme to help you plan for your sketchbook and start researching. So once you get some inspiration and collect images for reference, you need to start creating studies and testing your ideas. So for example, here the student has collected various images relating to bizarre portraits and she begins to test her own ideas with different materials and techniques by making studies and creating her own version of a bizarre portrait. Here are more examples on studies that show how you develop your ideas. So for example here you can see that the student has created a series of the same portrait and tested different materials, colors and techniques to develop her ideas and see what works best. This next example shows how the student is investigating the concept of flight, feathers and wings. So he does some research and collects some information, images on this topic and also creates many studies that show some development. As you see here, he creates a series of small studies of the bird's flight. He does not just draw one bird and that's it. On the contrary, he develops ideas through several drawings and investigates in depth. For AO1, you're also expected to research and investigate the work of other artists and learn from them. Looking at other artists helps you to develop your own ideas. You need to research and find artists that you like and relate to your theme, and with the support of your teacher, you can develop work inspired by them. Thank you.